Hey YouTube, sorry my video was frozen at the beginning. As usual, I'm here with my final thoughts on this foundation. I actually like the foundation okay, it's just the color is so wrong and it's been annoying me all day. Like this color match is so like not it with my skin. Like this is, we're getting personal. This is the lightest part of my body, basically right here. As you can see, it is very like cool toned light brown very yellowish and this is very warm and it's just it's been bothering me so much like look at my hands like no no so <laughs> I just really need a different color and again this is the black opal true color pore perfecting liquid foundation and I got the color carob but I definitely need to get like black walnut or Aw, chocolate. So I might order those and um, I may give this to my sister or I may figure out a way to mix it with other things. I don't know. Maybe with my foundations that are too light and too yellow and too cool. I don't know but I actually like the way it looks on my skin. I haven't touched it up in a couple hours so that's why it looks kind of shiny and oily but I like how lightweight it is. I like the finish that it leaves on the skin. I just don't like the color that I chose. It's just not See, look at that. It's just not, it's just not it. And so it's been bothering me so much. I was going to try and leave it on all day, but I got a little break from work. Um, one of my coworkers is working 6 to 8 p.m. for me, and right now it's 7-11. 7-11. <laughs> so I'm actually going to take this off and try out the stick foundations. And I'm just going to use baby wipe. Yeah, so I'm probably going to have to get well, I will have to get another color. Like, just look at that. You can see the difference between my skin and that. It's just too warm. Too orangey red for me. I'm trying to leave the eyes untouched and the brows. But yeah, I mean... Look at that, because I still have my forehead on. You can see the top of to the bottom of my face. It's just too warm. Like it was, it's really been bothering me like <laughs> all day. But outside of natural light, it looks okay. Like the pictures I posted a picture on Instagram. I took it in my car, and it looks okay in natural light. But indoors, it's very obvious that. I'll go ahead and take the lippy off too. I haven't touched that up at all today. It's very obvious that it's just not my color. I mean, look. Forehead to face. It's just... Yeah. So I'm going to try and carefully... Take this off. And we're going to try out... The sticks. Since I got two colors in the sticks. And I'm just looking at my camera to take this off right now, but I'm probably going to get another baby wipe to get a little bit closer to the brows. Do the hairline. But yeah, just look at my brows. Like, bro, it's just scary. So yeah, I do give the foundation a thumbs up. I just got the wrong shade. And I recommend that you do go try it. Yeah, this is way too red for my skin. Okay. So we're getting there. I'm trying not to. Mess up my eyeshadow or my eyebrows as much as possible. All right, so I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. I 
Or should I just get as much off as I can? All right. So now what I'm going to do is go in and make sure all of what I can get off is off. Let my face dry a little bit. And I'm just gonna go straight onto my skin like how it is now with these sticks. And I got the Black Opal True Color Cream Stick Foundations. And I got two colors and I have Hazelnut, which looks like this, and Suede Mocha, which looks like this, which I thought would match my body more. So let's just experiment and see what happens. Because that's kind of what makeup is all about. Experimenting and seeing what happens. So this one is hazelnut and it looks like these and I'm just gonna, ooh, so this one looks like it's gonna be probably too light. So we're just gonna put some of this in the center. Again, we're just trying things out. We're just gonna kind of highlight with the stick. Like so. <laughs> well, we know that this one is too light now. Goodbye, hazelnut. This is so funny. I like. I have a really hard time like shade matching myself with black opal products. Okay. At least have the same kind of like baby powder smell. Wow, that is not my color, bro. But the undertone matches more so. We'll just highlight with it. And I heard these blend really easily and they are supposed to be full coverage. So I'm just gonna wear these for the rest of the time I'm gonna go to work until 11 p.m. and then I'll probably come back and make a quick video about it. All right, if I can get them out of the packaging. Oops. Okay, and this one is suede mocha. This is the darker one, which I'm now going to Oh, hmm, this is also, this is really red, it looks like. Okay, this is going to be real interesting. And we're just going to place this around the perimeter of my face. And down here. So we have a little bit of an art project going on right now. And again, I used hazelnut for the center of my face, which is this color. And soy mocha on the outer parts, which I need to put some on the side of my nose. And that's soy mocha. Hazelnut. Hazelnut. Soy mocha. Hazelnut. Soy mocha. So now I'm gonna go and blend all this out with a brush and we're gonna see what happens. Should be interesting. And what brush would I like to use? Let's see. Let's use. I'm gonna use a Real Techniques Expert face brush. Oh. Blends really, really easily. That's good. The color match is still not it, though. I think overall, these foundations are just like 
Oh, blend's really nice, and it definitely is full coverage. I think they're just too warm for my skin, it seems like. I don't know. It blends really, really easy, though. Wow, that's so red compared to my actual skin. I'm literally just buffing it in, going in circular motions. I definitely have to say these two mixed together look decent though. When I mix the two colors together, that makes like a way better shade for my skin. Then wearing either one alone would not work. So I'm blending up into the forehead now. I hope y'all are seeing this. Yeah, they blend out really, really easy and like effortlessly and quite flawlessly. Yeah, this looks a lot better when I mix these two colors together. This is one light layer and I didn't even put it all like all over every square inch of my face. And I'm just kind of going in and patting. And I didn't use a primer or anything. Y'all saw I literally just took off the other one and put this on. All right. So just from looking at it, this looks way better like color match wise look at that cool cool you know what i'm saying like let me back up it's not as dark as my body which like my hands my arms are a more accurate depiction of my body but it matches like my chest because the hazelnut is what i applied to the center so i ain't mad and you can see the finish is like a satin finish. It looks like skin. That's what I really like about these black oval products is like your skin still looks like skin. Like you don't look fake, you know? This is a really, really close up and the light is like really strong. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this color combination. I think that mixing these two together is probably my best bet this bat best bet for a color match to my skin and i like the way that they look together i like the blendability i like the color with these two mixed together i like the coverage i didn't apply it super heavy like i said i applied it kind of light and 
For the most part, it's covering up everything. What I am going to do is set this with the Black Opal Invisible Oil Blotting Powder. Their translucent powder. And that'll be it for this first impression. Yeah, this color just, it just, wow, it just looks so much better. It's not as warm and red and scary looking. Because you can tell because it's still underneath my eyebrows. The other one, like, but it makes the eyeshadow look, eyeshadow look, look nice. So I'll let it be. But for all over the face, no cigar. And the oil blotting powders like this, y'all know those are my favorites. And any foundation I wear, once I put this powder over the top, it instantly looks even better. So I'm just going to apply this all over. get rid of the shine and to help set this it's almost 7 30 now and I get off work at 11 p.m. and I'm not gonna touch it up at all between now and then so we'll see how it lasts for three and a half hours Is that three and a half hours yeah three and a half hours this is obviously making it a little lighter but that goes away once, like I say, my oils come through. Eyeshadow still intact though. Because honestly, I'll do Beverly Hills. It's awesome. Love their eyeshadows. Love their palettes. Like I said, I'm not going to contour or blush or anything like that because I'm literally just about to go sit at the desk in my residence hall for three and a half hours and I ain't trying to be cute for nobody. I'm just trying to help my YouTube community get the most bang for their buck when it comes to makeup and beauty and body care and skincare products and give them some words of encouragement when it comes to Christian living. Which, I have some lessons in mind, but, like, I get really distracted easily when it comes to, like, my train of thinking. So I'll have, like, a verse in mind and, like, have a whole lesson planned out in my head. And then I'll hear another verse and get completely distracted and go off on a tangent. And then I'll hear another verse and another verse. And I'm trying to make those videos a lot shorter. So I'll probably make one tomorrow on Monday for Labor Day. Hitting on some of the things that we talked about in our adult Bible class for people under 30 today. Our young adult Bible class. We brought up some cool points I never thought of in that way. So you can see my eyebrows are super oily. I don't want to put too much powder on them because then they'll disappear. <sighs> but you see the rest of my face is matte. Uh, the color matches so much better. All right, so that's it for my first impression. Like I said, I'll have um, my final thoughts a little bit later. Oh, this color matches so much better. Look at that, guys. Again, leave your comments below on what you think about the liquid pore perfecting makeup compared to this um, stick foundation. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Bye, YouTube.